here, bright and early, beautiful, gorgeous morning, and damn, mosquitoes are all over the place. Holy cow. Hey, what a great project idea. Let's go build a bat house. Let's go. Oh yeah, those pesky mosquitoes got you down. You know, you know the dance. Well, today's project, we're gonna build a bat house. Why? Well, three good reasons. One, they eat those mosquitoes. They eat lots and lots of mosquitoes, hundreds of them a night. Two, they're already with us. They're already living with us, and they could be in your attic. They could be behind your shutters. They could be up your siding. So let's give them, give them an alternative, and then we can at least watch them and control them a little bit better. Three, maybe you like bats. Maybe you're a bat man there, and then you can watch it. But let's go. Let's take standard bat house, and let's go to work. So bat houses can come in all shapes and sizes. There's no designated size or shape. So realistically, I have this uh, piece of plywood that I pulled off of a crate. Uh, so I'm going to use this as the base. So we're going to use this uh, as our side. Let's make some cuts. all of our pieces cut we have the back we have the front two sides then we got a roof and the landing area on the back of the front and the back we need can't be smooth the bats need something to be able to hook their claws in the climb up a couple ways we're going to do this one way we're going to take a wire mesh cut it and staple it on there so that'll be one way second way is we will take the oscillating saw and we will make slats across as I did with this one. And you'll be able to see the slats in there. This way they can grip on and crawl up. Okay, our assembly stage. We are going to take the back. What we want to do is just double check the two sides now that we have the 15 degree angle. 15 degree angle at the top, line it up. 15 degree angle on the roof, lines it up. That looks good. So, now what we want to do is I'm just going to tack it into place and then we're going to screw it in first. Back looks good. Let's take our front. Remember, we've got the 15 degree angle for the roof. So we want to just square that up. And again, we're just going to tack it in and screw it later. Let's put the screws in. I'm going to pre-drill these uh, just so we don't split any of the wood. And I also found out I ran out of screws, but I have stainless steel siding nails, which I'm going to use instead.
I need to add the final piece. This is to keep predators like uh, larger birds, raccoons, or cats away. So I need to add this piece in here to eliminate the size of the entry hole. So I cut this little piece and I'm going to put it right Perfect. That gives the bats just a good uh, half inch for them to get in and bigger predators can't. Now remember, when making your bat houses, size and shape doesn't matter. They will come in all shapes and sizes. Square, long, tall, short, bat. Uh, the key is, the key is, is to have a nice, dry, secure area. They would go in a warm area. They're mammals, warm-blooded, so they need a dry, warm area. Another thing when you're making the bat houses is Depending on the size of your colony, you can take this basic plan and you can add layers on it. You might add a second and a third layer, making this a nice big fat uh, house that will house lots more. It'll eat a lot more insects and they will come. There you have it. You've got yourself a bat house. Now, you will see they'll have a place to land and a place to go up. Um, I think this will work out great. If you want to, you can take a piece of asphalt shingle, boom, clap it on there, give it some longevity, and then if you need to hang it, hit some screws here and here. There you go. It's going to work great. Hey, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. I'm Ken Deiniger with another Backyard Project. Now get rid of those damn mosquitoes.